The H-1B guy here, and today, the H-1B guy grades. April 2021 Visa Bulletin predictions versus the actual bulletin released. Find out what I got right, what I got wrong, and my final grade. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. Today's post is brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads since 2001. Today I'm going to grade what the H-1B guy forecast for April 2021 Visa Bulletin versus the actual April 2021 Visa Bulletin that was released by the U.S. Department of State. For those of you new to this channel, each month I predict employment-based preferences as it relates to the monthly visa bulletin. Once the monthly visa bulletin has been posted by the Department of State, I create a follow-up post in the form of the H-1B guy grades to find out how I did with my predictions for the month. So let's jump right into the results for the April 2021 visa bulletin released on Friday, March 12, 2021. Final action dates for India, EB1, I predicted October 1st, 2020, actual April 1st, 2021, making EB1 for India current. 243 days forward movement, and my prediction was 182 days under. India EB2 predicted February 1st, 2010, actual May 1st, 2010. 106 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 75 days. India EB3, I predicted July 22nd, 2010, actual September 1st, 2010. 62 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 41 days. China for EB1, I predicted October 1st, 2020, actual April 1st, 2021, making EB1 for China current. 243 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 182 days. China EB2, I predicted August 1st, 2016, actual September 1st, 2016, 48 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 31 days. China EB3, I predicted March 1st, 2018, actual March 15th, 2018, 42 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 14 days. For El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras, I predicted for EB4, July 15th, 2018, actual August 1st, 2018. 61 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 17 days. And then Mexico, I predicted for EB4, January 26, 2019, actual February 1st, 2019, 31 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 10 days. Uh, moving on to dates of filing for EB1 India, I predicted April 1st, 2021, actual April 1st, 2021. 31 days forward, and my prediction was correct. India for EB2, I predicted May 15th, 2011, actual May 15th, 2011. No movement, and my prediction was correct. India for EB3, I predicted January 1st, 2014, actual January 1st, 2014. No movement in my prediction was correct. China EB1 for dates of filing, I predicted April 1st, 2021, actual April 1st, 2021, making that date remain current, 31 days forward, and my prediction was correct. China for EB2, I predicted October 1st, 2016, actual January 1st, 2017. 92 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 92 days. And China EB3, I predicted June 1st, 2018, actual August 1st, 2018, 61 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 61 days. El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, EB4, I predicted September 1st, 2018, actual November 1st, 2018. 61 days forward movement, and my prediction was under by 61 days. And finally, my forecast 
of the Visa Bulletin release day. My three prediction dates were Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021, Friday, March 19th, 2021, and Thursday, March 18th, 2021. The actual release day was Friday, March 12th, 2021, and my closest prediction was six days over. I was correct on four out of 16 predictions for my forecast of the April 2021 Visa Bulletin, grading out at 25%. Not my best showing over the last few months, but considering some of the leaps forward we saw again this month, it's respectable. Several of you have posted your predictions or sent them to me directly. Let's keep that going for future, especially for May and going forward. I really love the friendly competition, and I love when you guys can tell me that I'm wrong. A few of you have also questioned why I've been so conservative with some of my predictions. And I'll say this, I'll always err on being slightly under when it comes to forecasting and predicting the bulletin the bulletin dates. That's just how I'm going to do it. My three biggest takeaways about April 2021 Visa Bulletin are these. Uh, EB1 for China and India for final action dates are now current. The second thing is that EB2 for India for final action dates has moved 201 days forward in the last two visa bulletins. The April 2021 visa bulletin was posted with 19 days remaining in the month of March, giving attorneys and the petitioners and the beneficiaries enough time to get the case ready to be filed on opening day. A lot of you have commented on how EB2 for India final action date is now the same as it was for April 2012's Visa Bulletin. Hopefully this trend continues and final action dates will begin to align with dates of filing very soon. For the full post on the H-1B Guy Grades April 2021 Visa Bulletin predictions versus the actual bulletin released, please check out the H-1Bguy.com. Reminder that today's post was brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads since 2001. This national job board network provides recruitment websites in 1,024 major U.S. metro areas. Each local job board is its own portal and is a low-cost resource for immigration recruitment ads for all industries and professions with a flat price of $225 per ad regardless of which city you choose. RecruiterNetworks.com has been the number one place for immigration attorneys, immigration ad agencies, and employers to meet the DOL requirements for the digital portion of the perm advertisement rules. RecruiterNetworks.com. Tell them the H-1B guy sent you. Just want to ask you again to please like this video. Subscribe to the H-1B guy channel here on YouTube. And click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content or go live here on this channel. If you've made it this far, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H-1B Guy, your global source for all things H-1B.